Igish Fiontek versus Alina Rabakina is the first semi final for Stuttgart for 2024. And both players have had tough matches to get to this stage. Rabakina entered the tournament as a number four seed, and we'll get a bye in the first round. In the second round, she'd take on Kudamatova, who had just beaten Krajikova in the first round. And this was a battle. After splitting the first two sets, Rabakina would eventually win in three, 7 6 1 6 6 4, to advance to the quarterfinals. In the quarterfinals, Rabakina would take on the unseeded Paulini, who had just beaten Jabur in the previous round. And this was a battle. After splitting the first two sets, Rabakina would eventually win in three. 3, 6, 3, 5, 7, 6, 3 to advance to the semi-finals. Shviontek entered the tournament as the number one seed and would get a bye in the first round. In the second round, she'd take on Mertens, who had just taken out the wild card Tatiana Maria in three sets in the first round. And after trading a couple of breaks in each set, Shviontek would get through in straights. 6, 3, 6, 4 to advance to the quarterfinals. In the quarterfinals, Shviontek would take on Rodokanu, who had taken out Kerber and Nozkova along the way. And after a very close first set, Shviontek would get through in straights. 7-6-6-3 to advance to the semifinals. These two have played five times before with Rabakina leading 3-2 in that head-to-head. -head. But of course, they played this year in Doha in the final. They've only played once on clay. Rabakina got the retirement victory there, so we didn't really get to see the full match. And with both players coming in healthy, this should be a really interesting clash. Rabakina's going to win this one. She needs to serve well and really bully Shviontek. And remember that she does have the head-to-head -head lead. There was really weird conditions when they played last time. It was really windy. And Rabakina had a lot of chances and just couldn't take them in Doha. So she's going to have to forget about that last match and remember those wins that she got against Shviontek the last few. If Shviontek's going to win this one, she needs to remember that last victory that she had. Even though the conditions were weird, she played better in that situation. And she did win their last match. So use that confidence. And also the fact that it's on clay. That is Shviontek's surface. Rabakina can play on clay. We saw that in Rome. But it's not really her favorite. So Shviontek's got to use the surface to her advantage as well. Such a great matchup. I love this matchup. It might be my favorite matchup of the bunch. I've got to go with Shviontek in this one. On clay, I reckon she probably gets it in three sets. Rabakina might get off to a hot start. And then Shviontek eventually wins in three. But let me know down in the comments below who's making the final.